Why does Martha have to have a party? Hard times party at that. What makes you think I'd like to bring Carol? Oh, Carol's all right. I don't have any fun at parties. Kids just aren't friendly. Oh, Bill, that might be your fault. I doubt it. Maybe it's just that you don't know how to use social courtesy. Social what? Social courtesy, Bill. Oh, that's old-fashioned. What's old-fashioned about having fun at parties? What's having fun at parties got to do with social courtesy? If you give me a chance, I'll show you. Go ahead. All right. First, let's get you to Carol's house to call for her. What? Okay. Now go ahead and ring the doorbell. I'll stick around and help you out. Well. Hey, look, what's so special about this? I don't have to be courteous just to call for my date, do I? Hi, Bill. What a costume. I'm nearly ready. Do you want to come in for a minute? Nearly, huh? I'll wait out here. Don't take all night. Hold it. Let's take a picture of this situation. Now look at that, Bill. Here Carol was trying to be friendly. And you said people aren't friendly. No, Bill. You discourage others when they want to be friendly. You'd better back up and start all over again. I don't think Carol's going to want to go out with you again unless you... Huh? Did I touch a sore spot, Bill? Well, maybe you'd better try to be more friendly this time. Hi, Bill. Oh, that's quite a costume. I'm nearly ready. Do you want to come in for a minute? Oh, thanks, Carol. Uh, but I guess I'll wait out here, if you don't mind. Well, all right. I won't be long. How am I doing? Better. But you might have gone inside, as she asked. Well, I wanted to check with you. Hey, say, wait a minute. Is this social courtesy, what I've been doing? It's part of social courtesy. Just simple friendliness. Shh. Here I am. Uh, let me help. Thank you. Should we go? This will be a lot of fun tonight. Don't clean. You go on and you join the party. Come with me, Carol. All right, Bill, you're at the party. Now, let's see you try some more social courtesy. I'll be right here to help you. Thanks. But hello, Bill. How are you? Okay, I guess. Bill, aren't you going to learn? You're being very rude to Martha's mother. She thinks you're very impolite. Look at you sprawled out in that chair. You're supposed to rise when an adult speaks to you. Everybody knows that. Now, let's back up and try it again. And see if you can be polite. Oh, come on, Bill. Sit up. That's a chair, not a bed. That's better. Watch it now. Here she comes. Well, hello, Bill. How are you? Fine, thanks. I didn't expect to see you in costume. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Well, thank you. You did pretty well yourself. Oh, thanks. You like it? I certainly do. There's Ellen. I want to see her. Have fun. Well, now, uh, wasn't that better? Look at the effect of a little politeness. You've had a very pleasant talk with Martha's mother. Well, she seemed friendlier than usual. That's because you were friendly and courteous. Now, look over to your left. 
Martha's introducing a stranger to the group. She'll be here soon. Suppose you had to make the introductions. How would you do it? Me? Oh, well, I'm not going to. That's Martha's job. Well, we can fix that up pretty easily. All it takes is a little switch. And now you have to do the introducing. Martha, Hank. Hold it, Bill. Not so good. Let's go back to the beginning and let Martha show you how. Bill, I'd like to meet Hank Lantner. This is Bill Brent. Hi. I'm glad to know you. Hank is the fellow who won the city math contest last week. Except for that, he's normal. Well, say, you could help me with my algebra, couldn't you? Well, I could try. Well, not now. This is a party, remember? Besides, I want you to meet my mother. All right. Goodbye, Bill. See you later, Bill. Yeah, sure thing, Hank. You see, a good introduction makes meeting people simpler and more pleasant. Sure, you're right. But there's so much to learn how to do. Sure, there's a lot to learn. But it's worth it. And learning is easy. One way is by watching others. Oh, oh here Carol. About time, too. How long does it take to take your coat off? Easy, Bill. Is it going to help any if you complain? No. All right. Be friendly, thoughtful. Join in the fun. You'll get along. I'll see you at refreshment time. Huh? Hi, Bill. Oh, hi, Carol. Oh, come on, let's join the game. Swell. How are you getting along? All right. How about some refreshments? Aren't you hungry? It's a good idea. You could get some for Carol, too. That is a good idea. Are you talking to yourself? Oh, no, I was just thinking. I'll get you some food. Why, thank you, Bill. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry, Joan. Oh, it was all my fault. I didn't watch where I was going. You didn't watch where you were going. Here, I'll get you some more. Oh, you don't have to, Bill. It's all right. Here. You want some No. Apple? Okay. Thank you. It's all right. Now you're getting the idea, Bill. Be friendly. Be thoughtful. What do you think of social courtesy now? I guess it makes being with people a lot more enjoyable for me. And more enjoyable for them, too. You've made a good impression on people here. Listen. Isn't that the boy who used to be so rude? Why, yes. You hear that? She says you're not as rude as you used to be. What do you know? And look at Carol. Bill is cute, so. Why, he's actually nice now. I'm glad I came with him, really. Those few changes made a big difference, didn't they? Yes, social courtesy does make a difference. And it's easy to learn. You can learn by watching others. And you can even get a book on courtesy from the library. I might at that. Sorry I took so long. I had an accident. Thank you. Phil, I'm having some of the kids over to my house next Saturday night. I'd like to have you come, too. Oh, I don't... Sure. Sure, I'd like to come. Good. Thanks for asking me. Social courtesy does pay, doesn't it? Thanks. <laughs> 